In January of 2000, my little brother turned nine and got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on PS1 for his birthday. I was almost 11 at the time and at that point, he and I had already pumped hours and hours into just a demo of this game that allowed you to play only the first level. But as we know, the purpose of any good demo is to make you want to play the full game and this particular demo had definitely succeeded in that regard. It's funny because neither of us knew anything about skateboarding, the skaters on the roster, or the punk rock soundtrack that the game had, but frankly it didn't really matter because the game was ridiculously fun. We were completely ignorant about the entire world of skateboarding and that game wasn't going to change that. We still completely are. And it's no secret really that for a lot of kids playing Tony Hawk back then, that probably was their introduction to a fictionalized world of skateboarding. And although neither of us ever took up skateboarding as a hobby, that game's soundtrack absolutely opened me up to a whole world of music that being a 10 year old kid raised on my dad's Led Zeppelin and ACDC records and the oldest child in my family had never experienced. The demo disc containing that first warehouse level only played the song Superman by Goldfinger. So by the time my brother got the full game, we knew that one pretty well. But hearing the rest of the soundtrack as I played through the game kind of felt like having this angsty, cool older brother that was introducing me to music that I wasn't supposed to listen to. Playing that game was almost certainly the first time I'd ever heard music by Dead Kennedys or The Suicidal Tendencies and pretty much every other band featured on that soundtrack. My point in telling you all this is that I feel like I owe credit, at least in some small way, to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for my love of hardcore punk and heavy metal that developed over time, eventually reaching full bloom in high school and really just continuing on to present day. It may seem cheesy to some of you guys, but this game seriously did lay a foundation in my musical taste for me to seek out faster and more aggressive music as I got older. And yet when I stop and think about it, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is just one example of a video game that changed my life in a profound long-term way. Some of you may know that I'm a big horror fan and looking back, I can honestly thank the first Resident Evil game for solidifying my love of horror films, horror games, and kind of even generating some of the excitement that I feel every year around Halloween. Games like The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time before it sparked my imagination in a way that not only brought to life the kinds of fantasy worlds that I'd only read about as a kid, but also sharpened my understanding of what a video game experience was even capable of delivering. What's really cool to me though, is that it seems like just about everybody who claims video games as a hobby has stories just like these. Stories that have influenced who they are, how they feel, and what they think and do in life. So I wanna know, what games have changed your life and how did they do it? Let me know your story in the comments below. And if you enjoy gaming discussions like this one, be sure to check out this playlist and a bunch of the other videos on this channel. Like this video if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you're really mad and don't wanna take it anymore, and subscribe to tune in to all of my new videos coming your way. Thanks for hanging out at Crosschop today. Thanks for subscribing and as always, Play heavy. Yeah.